All right, let's answer some questions about the milk jug garden. This is really easy to do, but evidently this was a little too fast. One of the questions that I got a lot was about the nutrients. So if you go to my page, click on videos, scroll down, you can see playlist. And one of those playlists are frequently asked questions. If you look over here, there's one about the nutrients. Everything you need to know. Now how far do you fill the jug up? In the beginning, almost to the top. You want it high enough so your roots get submerged in the nutrient solution. Then you just set it. As the water level drops, the roots go down looking for it. And we're not growing microgreens. These are baby greens. I start with the microgreens because if I leave them in this tray, they'll get crowded, they won't do good. So we spread them out. That way I can pick the best of the best. And really that's it. You just leave these and you can grow them to about this stage. If you're growing things like pak choy and lettuce. And if you want to grow them longer, you can just pull the pool noodle out, add some nutrients, and pop it back in. Other things like this, you are going to have to refill. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Here's how I grow loads of basil in a tiny container. I use a tiny piece of pool noodle to hold my basil microgreen just like I do in my other containers. So you can go look at this video to find out how I did it. And if you need to know how to grow the microgreens, I've got a bunch of other videos about that too. So I get this container that I found at Target. It holds four gallons. And I cut 25 holes in the top. Now each spot holds two to three plants. So this little container has 50 to 75 plants in it. And the container that grew all this was only two gallons. So inside you just want to put your nutrient solution, let the roots hang down in it, just let it go. Now with over 50 plants in here, you are going to have to refill it. But in the beginning these little sprouts don't take much and this will go for about a month before you even have to think about messing with it. Just let the level drop to about half and maintain that level. And that's all you have to do. Easy as can be. Here's 10 things that I don't do with my off-grid hydroponic grow towers. I don't leave my microgreens crowded. I spread them out. Give them room to breathe. So this doesn't happen. I don't check or adjust my pH levels. I don't check or adjust my EC or nutrient levels. I don't use a lot of different formulas for different plants. Just one formula for everything I grow. I don't use pesticides. I don't use aeration. I don't use pumps, filters, I don't weed, I don't till, and I don't compost. What I do is have fun and relax, grow a lot of food. So if you don't want to do all those things, you might want to look into off-grid hydroponics. What makes growing like this so easy Stacking up five gallon buckets, no pumps, no aeration. Is having a hole on the side for the plants and access to the nutrients. See, growing on a five gallon bucket, everyone puts the plant on the top. This allows rain to get in and it can drown your air roots. So you have to drill a little overflow hole, but the rain can still dilute your nutrients. So having the plants on the side so you can stack it, it also keeps the rain from coming in the top. It just slides down past the pool noodle. And that allows you to grow vertical with off-grid hydroponics.